So as you can see, it's dark. Uh, we just got up super early this morning to do our uh, new expedition of the day. So Laura, why don't you tell us where we're going? So we're going to Santo Domingo. So that's the capital of the Dominican Republic. Um, it is a tourist uh, bus that we're going on like with a tourist group. So probably nothing uh, crazy is gonna happen, but it's our first time going there. So we thought that was the, the best way to do it. Yeah, so um, the bus is supposed to be 50% filled because of COVID protocol. So, and apparently we're wearing masks all day. So right now we're just in the parking lot waiting for it. We're outside. But uh, as soon as we get on the bus, we have to wear our mask the entire day. And we should so. probably go see if that's our pickup bus to the big bus. Yeah, so <laughs> see you later. That's all the electricity lines. Uh, so now we're in Santo Domingo. Uh, behind us is the Palacio Presidencial, so the President uh, Palace, I guess. And uh, right, we it took about three hours with just. Uh, drove around and they showed us a bunch of places like the Columbus Lighthouse and the, the, the first Porta uh, in the Americas that, that Christopher Columbus founded, um, all of that, but we saw it through the bus and we couldn't stop. Uh, supposedly we're supposed to go later this afternoon, but right now that was our first stop that we can actually and see some, something. And some fun facts is that the Dominican Republic takes up about I believe it's 70 percent or 75 percent of the land. Haiti is about 25 percent and the population of uh, Dominican Republic is 11 million and Haiti is I think more than double that so kind of gives you an idea. And also like uh, in the right here in Santo Domingo this is where Christopher Columbus landed um, in 1492 and uh, Santo Domingo is the first uh, uh, city here in 1507 um, that they started building it. So, you could be a tour time. guy. Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> So this is Chinatown. Apparently, it's the only Chinatown where there are no Look on the left side, people. the most famous avenue, Duarte Avenue. Ah, yes, that también. A ambos lados. So here behind me is the uh, first cathedral in uh, the Americas in 1513, I believe it was built. Um, sorry. Um, I think it's something like Concepcion, Cathedral de Concepcion, something like that. I'll find out the name. I, we haven't had the description yet. So it's funny how um, a tour like this for tourists, like uh, they, they, they get you and they get you stuck where you can't get out, you know. Um, so we just visited the, uh, the the cathedral behind me here and just across the street, if I just turn around behind here, it's the tourist trap. Uh, all the uh, shopping, shopping for... Um, Souvenirs. For, for souvenirs and stuff like that. Laramar, and and all of a sudden, we have tons of time. We have 45 minutes to wait to waste here um, for tourists. <laughs> so, so we use the bathroom and now we're walking around the neighborhood. <laughs> 
So, like I said in the previous video, we're stuck here for 40 minutes, so... It's just... not such a bad place to be stuck. <laughs> there's there's worse. This. We could be stuck in the snowstorm at home or what. <laughs> um, so, fun fact, uh, Christopher Columbus uh, ashes used to be in the cathedral um, that we just visited. And he moved it in the late 1800s, I think, or early 1900s to the uh, Columbus Lighthouse. So his ashes are actually in the lighthouse that we uh, we, we showed videos earlier, earlier or picture. So that's the Christopher Columbus story. And what I found really interesting about the cathedral is that, I mean, you saw all the, um, all the paintings and everything, and they brought those paintings in the 15 and 1600s on ships, and one ship actually sunk. They were able to somehow save the painting and uh, you know, then they they put them in the in the um, I guess chapels there, um, and uh, then surrounded them by mosaics. And apparently, I'm not sure if this is correct, they're saying that this is the only Gothic cathedral in the Americas. Um, Gothic meaning, Baroque. Did he say Baroque? Baroque. Oh, then that makes more sense because I'm like, there's Gothic cathedrals, I believe, in Montreal with the flying buttresses. So I guess Baroque is the word then. Yeah. That's, that's all I've got. So now we'll just wait for the... We're, we're going for dinner, for lunch, actually, with the Dominican lunch. We're not sure where, uh, when the 40 minutes is up. So we'll see you later. So this is the site of the first, uh, what Sancho just said, <laughs> first hospital in America, it's right here. Uh, Christopher Columbus palaces and his son and his family lived here um, like in the early 1500s I guess so we're gonna visit inside now so this is Christopher Columbus and his son this is Diego's personal room that's Santa Maria a replica of the ship Getting close to uh, the Primera Porta, the first door in the Americas. Just down the path here. I was trying not to break my neck in the stairs. Hello, we're uh, Saturday morning. It's the day after our trip to Santo Domingo yesterday, and I just wanted to give you my little impression. It's uh, after the, the beginning that was a bit of a chaotic miscommunication uh, Dominican style it's quite common here I guess um, we it's a long day like it's three hours and plus to get there three hours back so that's six hours just uh, driving um, plus a few little tourist spot that they stop at however uh, visiting a city that was built in 15 early 1500s uh, early 16th century um, like 1505 to 1515 somewhere in there uh, it's quite it's quite spectacular um, seeing where uh, Christopher Columbus actually lived and his uh, descendants uh, until 1577 um, it was quite spectacular I it's not something I would do again however I'm really happy we did and I would highly recommend that if you spend some time here and you want to go and visit i highly recommend to to do something like that it was just a beautiful city 
uh, we had a good time and uh, I'm happy we've done it so bye